Hey pals, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Demon Slayer. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and continuing to follow me on whatever type of journey Demon Slayer is. Now, previously on Demon Slayer, Tanjiro and Zenitsu and um, Inosuke, <laughs> I know names, they have made it out of this really kind of scary like thing that they had to do. They made it out of the forest with the spider family and they were saved by uh, two of the Hashira who are like these high ranking or like the most high ranking demon slayers and most of them are kind of against Tanjiro and his situation with his sister but the leader guy was just like I'm going to allow it and even if they're still not okay with it I'm going to allow it. I super loved when Nezuko just went you know to that one guy that whatever his name was really rude guy who like stabbed her a bunch of times and whatever um she snubbed him and proved that she can resist and that she's not gonna go like crazy and attack people and even if they're not happy about it they have to listen to this master dude anyway and they are gonna stay at the butterfly lady's house ish maybe house i don't really know how that works and they're going to be healing and they had that little moment where Nosuke, poor Nosuke, he was his little like crushed like um throat because he can't really talk that loudly and he was like I'm not strong and I'm not powerful and Zenitsu is also like shrunken a little bit because he started turning into um a crazy baby spider and you know Tanjiro with his many broken everything and so there were just honestly there was just so much that we learned in that last episode kind of Again, I didn't know that they didn't know about Nezuko. Like, I just thought that that was like, but I guess the leader dude kind of knew because of the letter that um, Udo Kodaki, I think that's his name, uh, sent. And the, what's his name? The water Hashira dude. He also knew, obviously, because he recommended him to his master. And they also learned that Tadro is like, the only person or maybe one of the only people to ever see um, Kibutsuji alive and have survived. And so there's different things that we've kind of learned. We've Again, we've gotten introduced to this whole set of characters that have, you know, different things about them, like maybe different personalities. They all have a different like style. And so I'm curious about each of those styles. I really want to know what the love Hashira means. Like I can kind of see from like her personality, but like how does that work in like actuality, like battle and stuff like that. So curious to see that, curious to see what they're going to do going forward. My best guess is that if they're feeling down like Inosuke and feel like they weren't able to do anything, then I'm betting training arc because I love a good training arc, but who knows? We're gonna get into it and see what happens. But as long as you're going, Rengoku, we don't have to worry. And you, what's the plan? Taking that headbutting kid in? Oh yeah, you had headbutting. Recruiting more Tsuguko, but I doubt that's the reason. You seem concerned. You don't think Tsuguko is that like a rank? I forget what the ranks are called. Rehabilitation training. Training is in the episode title. Woo! We go through this every day. <laughs> Saying you're in bad shape is an understatement. Take your medicine this second. This is hilarious. You know, as you guys know, I have spent a good amount of time in the hospital and I try to not be this patient because it's not their fault. Hey! I saw that medicine go down much easier. So then, it's different from mine. No. Hilarious. Hey. How have 
you been doing? I came this close to getting melted down, but I survived somehow. I hear you guys got banged up pretty good, though. Aw, new friend. I, I love friendship. What happened to your arms? My limbs he got shrunk. He got a little tiny. almost turned into a spider. And that's why you need to take this medicine. But <laughs> <laughs> it tastes so gross. I understand. I understand. It felt like hell. Those Hashira are absolutely terrifying. They were all really furious about how the quality of the new Demon Slayers had gone downhill. Oh, that's not your because fault, there though. there a number of us who neglected to follow orders during what happened. Oh, then definitely y'all's fault. Never mind. Things like, who trained them anyway? What good was it asking a no rank like me into a meeting like that? <laughs> the Hashira really terrify me. <laughs> She she is also the one of the most terrifying, at least I think. Our rehabilitation training? Yes. Forgive me for being weak. Oh <laughs> the Time depression. Oh two to weeks. Away by Lady Kocho and started something called rehabilitation training. But you can't go because your arms aren't normal. Oh his sparrow sleeping in his hair is so cute. She seemed ethereal. It's no wonder everyone ran to her in tears. Doesn't hurt she's as pretty as a picture. I bet she could get by on her looks alone. I mean So Lady Kocho I I feel like it's kind of odd that he's not like head over heels for her already. But he I guess he's just thinking about Nezuko. Yeah, her hey, training's probably really hard. <laughs> How did it go today? <laughs> go, go to bed. Nap time! Sorry. Don't mind. <laughs> Please tell me! I'm gonna be in the same boat as you starting tomorrow! I need to be mentally prepared! I don't think there's anything that can mentally prepare you! Uh, <laughs> even his boar's head looks so depressed. <laughs> Alright, Zenitsu. Since you'll be joining us starting today, I will explain the training regimen again. You will begin there. Those girls will get your bedridden bodies limber again. Mm, gotta stretch. <laughs> Just the little the growl at the end. But there's a twist. Your opponent is able to block you from picking up your cup. Go! Again! Go! <laughs> Yeah, that's harsh. Getting <laughs> repeatedly set something in your face. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> that would be really disheartening after a while. No, not that. He's going you back. Two, come with me. Huh? Don't feel like it. <laughs> I won't ask twice. Shut up and follow me! <laughs> no! You're coming with me! Zenitsu's almost a big brother in that uh, moment. Bastard! What did you say to us? <laughs> he knows yet! <laughs> what are you thinking? Apologize to he knows yet. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he can't yell! He can't fight back! He can't fight back! Like you came back from hell when you were in paradise! Oh, oh there he is. There he is. So why did you come back looking all haggard like- Listen, getting stuff thrown in your face is really disheartening, okay? And when you play tag, you can touch more than that! All girls have nice chest, great butts, and strong Okay, bones. now we're getting a little too much for me. getting to look at them make my heart beat quick now! He just pulled out Tanjiro's hair! He just pulled out Tanjiro's hair! Making any sense? Isn't getting all shook up by something smaller than you a real blow to your confidence? That's right. You were raised in the mountains, so you've never been close to a girl, have you? I no don't think that's the point. Oh, my God. I'm oh, sorry <laughs> for you. <laughs> I've been close to girls and none of them. Tears from the pain, but he's laughing from joy. <laughs> I shall take you on. And go! I would never. 
drinking a girl's that's not gonna work <laughs> she's so irritated i love it but he was really swift and that was really smooth for the next five days i can what's her name to lose to her so did inosuke and zenitsu we couldn't I feel like so she's like the number one protege or whatever then one day the other two stopped coming <laughs> I didn't know there was a choice that they could just not go to this training. I thought this was going to be a very different type of training, but I appreciate the way their senses are tuned and stuff like that. Her eyes are different somehow. Excuse me. Tanjiro, are, are you all right? Aww. We've been calling to you over and over. Oh, I'm sorry. What is it? <laughs> this is for you. Oh, they're so cute. It's because also he's a kind, sweet boy. Some people have already been able to master it. All the hot I also and Kano just realized they we all have little butterfly clips. Is that so? Thank you. I'll give it a try. Ah, <laughs> uh, the three brothers. <laughs> I think you should come back to training, Inosuke. Feeling sorry for yourself won't do you any good. Also, I, I, <laughs> it makes me giggle that City 2 is now, like, over it. Like, mm, I was all gung-ho about it, and nope, not anymore. My lungs hurt. Oh. My ears are ringing so hard. I can relate. Like burst. <laughs> Wait, did they? Oh my gosh. I'll never be <laughs> deep breaths. I know it's hard when you think your lung has exploded, but it's fine. It's gonna be fine. And also blow into these gourds? Yeah, mm, help expand your lungs. Like long exercises. And whenever she did, she had her blow into gourds like these. Really? I do understand. They gave me like some stuff to do breathing exercises with when I got out of the hospital. Something this hard? That's right. Not to mention this is a special kind of gourd. So it's even harder than normal mm. ones. A girl that you. delicate was able to pull off something like that? I don't know. She has the eyes of somebody who's very dangerous. Maybe it's also the way she smiles, too. And my lungs are getting stronger, too. This is good. Honestly, I've been too afraid to do like any hardcore day, workouts, but I, I need to start stretching again. And put my lungs into overdrive. And now I'll take slow, deep breaths and imagine sending that air all the way to my fingertips. Getting some great tips to how I should maybe do some breathing exercises of my own. Orokodaki. I can't believe you go and break my son like that! <laughs> I'm so sorry. They're that is true. My sword for me okay, now. good, good, good. I was wondering I how that worked. Terrible about it. I wonder if that was his real reaction or that's just the image that Tanjiro had in his head. I wonder if he'll get the same style of sword, though. If I could, I'd like to entrust a dream of mine to you. A dream? <laughs> I was literally going to say the same yes. thing. A dream? Question mark. That we can befriend the demons. Oh, is that why she always... Oh, that's why she always asks. Well, I'm assuming because she asked the other girl. I see the mournful tears of others who've lost their loved ones in the same way. I hear their loud cries of despair. And each time I do, the anguish inside me grows larger. That makes a lot of sense. Sometimes you take all those emotions onto yourself and you just keep internalizing and internalize it and it's really hard to get rid of sometimes. Due to the master's wishes, I don't believe anyone will raise a hand to Nesuko. My sister was a kind-hearted person like you. Oh no, am I gonna start crying? Oh, was she also a demon slayer? Then I must carry it on. Oh. So is it her to kill these robe beautiful demons, cloak? I have to keep trying to find it. While keeping the smile my sister said she loved. interesting um character backstory that i didn't expect but i mean i figured they would all have 
some kind of history with demons. Please do all you can. Protect your sister until the end. Oh, also because that's his sister, yeah. Knowing that you're working hard to carry out what I could not. It warms my heart. Mm, no. I don't want to cry. <laughs> I've spent too much time crying. <sighs> Total concentration breathing. No. <laughs> Wow. Fast and total concentration breathing. Scary, but I think just that little bit of information makes like helps me understand her character a lot more. I mean, I'm sure there's obviously more facets, but like I appreciate it. You know, that does remind me like Tondra obviously knows the doctor. The master mentioned the doctor lady's name. So do they also do these other Demon Slayers know about because it feels like they don't know about her. Otherwise, like, does that make sense? Like, she would, if the, her, what her dream is what she says it is, like, or to carry out her sister's dream, like, then she might have sought to work with her sooner. But, like, they're just like, all demons are bad, but they're, we know that that's not true. I don't know. Very interesting episode, honestly. Like, there was just a lot that I didn't expect, to be honest. I I was hoping for training, not quite the training that I was thinking, but I did appreciate that it is kind of, I mean, it is called rehabilitation training. So this sounds really kind of silly and redundant, but I like that it was aimed at getting them back into the condition that they were, if not better condition, like in Tantro's case, than they were before they got there, before they went up the mountain. And I think it's funny that Zenitsu started so gung-ho and then after a while he was like, yeah, absolutely not. And even Inosuke just getting disheartened because he keeps losing. And obviously he's definitely one of those characters that hates to lose. But it also makes sense that, like, Tanjiro would continue with the training because he is determined and wants to persevere through all these things and obviously his ultimate goal is to help Nezuko so he needs to be back into top shape if not better shape and I love that in his heart he's like well when I learn it then I can teach it to my friends so it's not a big deal if they don't come now and I just he is I mean I know my friend Lisa told me all about how Tanjiro is such a kind soul but like I see it more and more as the episodes go on and I just I love him as a character I I love that he is so sweet and so nice and so caring and so empathetic and it's just really nice to see. I appreciate that we got to know a little bit about one of these Hashira people and I again I do remember saying this in the last episode about how and especially with their attitude towards demons I'm sure everyone who's a demon slayer or you know people that are not demon slayers, but there's a lot of people that have history with demons and not good ones. So it's interesting to see that facet. It helps like develop her character a little more because we just saw that like a little bit of her on the mountain and we got to see like what, what she does and like a little bit of her abilities, but to know that that smile is hiding like a, a secret hatred, a sadness in her heart is really just makes her more multi-dimensional and makes her really interesting as a character and it's honestly somewhat relatable like I know that sometimes I have difficulties I'm sure other people have difficulties and we tend to internalize it and keep it within and just try to keep smiling and move forward but it's not always easy to do that so I just like that she got to talk to somebody about her true feelings and she seemed to have a weight lifted off her shoulders so that was nice I think that's everything for this episode, we'll go into the next episode and hopefully find out a little bit more about these techniques. Maybe he'll master this breathing. I don't know. Maybe they'll like finish their training, their re rehabilitation training and move forward. Who knows? But for now, thank you all so much for watching and continuing to follow me on this Demon Slayer journey. We are so close to the end of season one, only two more episodes, which I will be recording today, but will come out a little spaced out for you guys, but it's very exciting. And yeah, until next time. Bye.